Hey, all my fashionistas and fashionistas out there. It's your plus size fashionista. Mm -hmm. Yep, and this is going to be a review slash live swatching of some lippies that I received from Studio Gear. I received five full size lippies to play around with and swatch and to give you guys my honest opinion about this company and how I feel about these products. The yeah. Watch it. Uh -huh. Got the rest of the track. That on the boards. Church. This is the market. Wow. Yeah, the statistics like I was saying in the intro before, this is going to be a review from Studio Gear. Now, like I was saying in the intro before, I received five full-size products to give my 100% honest opinion on, to play around with, or with that, whatever, and to tell you guys how I feel about these products. Now, before I get into the swatches and all that and how I feel, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Studio Gear. This company is a cosmetic this company. company. is yeah. a cosmetic company company and they carry a wide vast variety of different lipsticks, blushes, eyeshadows, and tools such as makeup brushes and the sort. So yes. So I'm going to talk about the shipping. Shipping came really, really fast. And I do want to tell Studio Gear, I am so sorry for me, you know, taking a little bit long to do this video. Life has been getting in the way. And if you guys do not know, I am a professional makeup artist. So that's been taking up all of my time. So that's why you guys have not been seeing any videos uh, as of lately. So, yes. So I received five of their lippies. And I received... Five different color spectrums of the rainbow. I received True Wine, and I'll have the swatch right here. True Wine. I can say it's a true wine color. Um, one thing I do notice about these uh, lippies, it's a, a stain and a gloss combined. Um, I know some of you guys, you know, you love your your matte lipsticks or whatever, but this isn't a matte per se. It's more like a stain and a gloss. If a lip stain and a lip gloss had a baby, this would be the baby right here. I love the packaging. It reminds me of another cosmetic brand, which I will not say, but you guys, if you know, you know. And I love the packaging. It's really, really sleek. You can see all the products. Um, it is about 0.15 fluid ounces. And I'm going to show you guys the applicator. This is the applicator. And it's a doe foot applicator. And what I learned upon using this, a little bit of this product goes a long way. This is not like a, a liquid lipstick or a lipstick where you just keep on cramming it on. This product is really, really, really opaque. A little bit goes a long way because like I previously mentioned, honeys, this is a, a stain and a gloss. So you don't have to put a lot on. That's one thing I love about this product. You don't have to keep cramming it on to get the true shade as if you see in the tube. You don't have to do that. Um, another thing I noticed, it does last long. And you guys know, I eat, I drink things, you know. I'm out in the elements, you know, wear and tear. I rarely, I think I touched it up like once. That was it. Um, I love these. They're really long lasting. Now, again, it does have some wear and tear. I'm not going to lie to you. But it does last a heck of a lot longer than, you know, some other brands that I've so, played. Yes, that is True Wine. Next, we're going to go off into True Burgundy. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. And one thing I can, not one thing, another thing I can add on to the things that I like about this lipstick is that, it does not feel heavy. I know some of other brands you guys may have tried. Drugstore, popular brands, you know, any brands, whatever. Um, it feels really heavy. Like, you could feel like something is on your lips. With this, you do not feel nothing at all. And I love that. And I do feel like my lips are moisturized. They're not heavy feeling. They feel like nothing is even on them. So, this is True Burgundy. Next, we're going to go off into True Red. Now, you guys, y'all know I love a red. Of course, I have this platinum here in now. So, I've been really wearing, like, a red that has orange-based, an orange-based red, you know. But, 
I cannot steer myself away from a true American red. And this is what this is. I am in love with it. The packaging is phenomenal. Like, I'm loving everything about this brand. I am going to have to try to find on their website so I can get some to put in my kit because I am in love. Next. True Fuchsia. Gorgeous Fuchsia Bright pink color now i will tell you guys um all the shades that i mentioned before this you do not need any lip liners now if you want to wear a corresponding lip liner corresponding with this color then you may do so but you don't necessarily have to do that and i love this it goes it glides on effortlessly no must no fuss real light feeling and i love that as well because you guys know i am a makeup artist and i deal with makeup 24 7 one complaint that I get from my clients is they really don't like the sticky matte dry feeling. Some of the lipsticks that I have in my kit, um, it, it's heavy feeling on their lips and they don't like that. So I'm most definitely going to get some of these uh, in my kit because I know they would love these because it does not feel like you have anything on. Last but certainly not least is True Pebble. And this is like a peachy nude and i get tons of questions from my woman of color um about nudes because that's a kind of finicky type of a subject i know a lot of my women of color kind of scared to get nude because they don't want it to come across you know the pottery donut look on them as well they want it to look right now i can say you can wear a nude but just be mindful wear a nude that fits right with your undertone and do not forget use a brown lip liner because it can you know soften it up a bit so it can look a little bit better that's what i did with this look now i can wear it straight off the bottle but who am i kidding i do not want to look like i ate some powdered donuts so i always always any nude I wear, I always wear a brown lip liner to soften it up so it don't look so harsh. To give it a, a faux ombre look, so to speak. So yes, I am in love with these, you guys. I've been rocking these. I've been getting so many compliments wearing these. I'm just in love with this brand as a whole. And I hope in the future I can collaborate with them in the future because I love these. And you guys know if you're an avid older honey of mine, I love these me a good lippy it's no secret i love me a good lippy but one thing that i came across with lipsticks they're heavy feeling or they're sticky feeling or you just have to cram too much of the product on to get it to look like the shade that's presented to you in the tube and who wants to go through all that you don't want to do all that so i can say with this studio here <laughs> broke the mold like i'm i'm obsessed i'm in love i want more colors for my personal kit and for my pro kit i'm just that much smitten with this product so yeah you guys that's all i can say i don't want to keep rambling on and on and on but i hope you guys get the point i love this brand i'll have all the social media networking sites in the fashion box below as well as join the conversation at hashtag sc gear so yes let me know if you have these items from them. Let me know if you like them. Let me know. Let's have a conversation started. So, yes, you guys. That's it. I want you to do one thing for me. Stay fly, stay fashionable for less. Also, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel. Mm-hmm. Yep. Bye, Hey, guys. honeys. I hope you guys like this video. And y'all should follow me on my social media networking sites. Follow me at Instagram, lalahoney06. Honey, my contour. Instagram, Snapchat, La La Honey 06, Periscope, La La Honey 06. Mm-hmm. Yep. Bye, honeys.